Hey guys, this is Charles the Premium B, and in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at creating matte text animations in After Effects. There's lots of cool possibilities we can do with these effects, and we're gonna look at several different styles. All right guys, so let's start by explaining what a matte text effect is and how it works. So we're gonna start with some text, and then we're gonna use that text as a matte, which basically gives us a perfect cutout of our original text. And then we can add effects and footage behind the mat to create our text animation. So this really is a simple effect in practice, but there's so many different mat combinations we can create. And hopefully as we break down some of these animations we're gonna take a look at, they may spark some creative ideas for you as well. Also, you can download the project file for this tutorial from the blog post, which will have all of the scenes that we're gonna create and a link for that will be in the description. With that, let's go ahead and jump over to After Effects. All right guys, in After Effects, let's start by creating a simple matte text animation. So if you've never done one of these before, this is gonna be easy to follow. And the first thing we need to do is kind of create the text cutout. So what I've got here in my composition is just some text. So I'm gonna right click, let's create a new solid. I'm just gonna name this background. Go ahead and make sure it's comp size and go ahead and click okay. Now let's go ahead and move this below our text. And with that layer selected, I'm gonna come here and you're gonna see track mat. If you don't see this, press F4 on your keyboard and that should toggle the switches there. And so I'm gonna see under track mat, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna select alpha inverted mat. And when we do that, we may see everything disappear, but let's go ahead and toggle on transparency right here. Now we can see the text there is actually transparent, which is gonna allow us to place footage or effects behind that to kind of give us that effect on the text. So let's come over here to the assets and these are included in the project file. And I've got this scribble footage. So I'm just gonna double click it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. If we go ahead and scroll through here, we're gonna see it's a scribble animation on transparency. And we're gonna use this to kind of fill in our text. So I'm gonna drag and drop this scribble footage behind everything here in our composition. Let's go ahead and solo that for the time being just so we can see what's going on. And let's apply a gradient effect to this just to change up the colors. So under effect, come right here to generate and go to gradient ramp. We'll just leave it on the default colors as it is. So I want this to fill in where our text is. Go ahead and unsolo this. We can kind of see that's happening right now with this as it's working. So we'll go ahead and turn off the transparency. We can kind of see how this works. But let's do another type of animation. I'm gonna come down here to the scribble footage and I'm going to solo it again. And I'm gonna rotate this around a little bit. So we kind of have two different copies of this, kind of like it's scribbling down. So let me just kind of reposition this, unsolo that, and we can kind of see where this is going to fill in on our text. So let's do it right here on one side. And let's go ahead and let's duplicate that scribble footage. So Control D, Command D on a Mac. So now we have two copies. I'm going to move this second copy over here to the other side of the text. And we can offset the time of this as well if we want to. So we can kind of adjust how quickly these scribble on screen. And I'm just going to retime that a little bit like that. So now you can see we have two different versions coming through over our text. And now we can see a preview of the final effect here on this quick and easy matte text animation we just created. Again, any of the footage that we add underneath the text mat here, it's gonna be footage we can use to kind of fill in that text. Let's go ahead and take a look at another composition here. Another example I've got. So I've got some real chunky text here. And let's say I wanna see some actual drone footage appear behind this text. So the first thing I wanna do is let's create another solid. And again, this is gonna be our background, so I'm just gonna call it BG. Make comp size, go ahead and click OK. Move this below our text. And for the track map there, again, we're gonna select alpha inverted. And it may disappear, but if we toggle on transparency, we can see that is transparent. So let's come back over here to the project and our assets. I'm gonna select some drone footage I've got and place it below everything right here in our composition. And now we can actually see, if I scroll through here, we can see that footage playing through the text but we can actually apply effects to our text and to our footage, give this a little more production value. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually going to select my footage and I'm gonna come over here to the parent pick whip and I'm gonna parent it to the text. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I'm actually gonna resize this text for a quick scale animation and I want the footage to actually resize with the text, so this would be kinda cool. So with our footage selected here, I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard and that'll bring up the scale. And so right around three seconds, I'm gonna have this keyframe to be at 110% there. Let's drag this back to the very beginning. I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit. So this on like 90%. So if we scroll through here, we can see we're getting a little bit of a scale animation on the text. 
And on this last keyframe, I'm gonna select it. Let's hit F9, make that an easy ease keyframe. And if we wanna smooth this out even more, we can come over here to the graph editor. And I'm just gonna drag this over to smooth that out just a little bit more. So it's kind of a little bit of a nicer ending there on the animation. But we can actually see that this is also scaling our footage. So if I actually select the footage, you can see the corners of it here have been scaled down and that's scaling with the text. But now let's add a camera lens blur effect onto our footage, kind of emulate a rack focus. So I'm gonna move back here to the very beginning and I'm gonna select my drone footage there and under effect, come down here to blur and let's select camera lens blur. And fair warning, this effect does render a little bit slow, but it looks really nice. So let's zoom in here to kind of see what's happening. I'm gonna increase the blur radius here to something like 25. And what I want is to really see some nice kind of bokeh on this footage. So I'm gonna adjust the highlight settings here a little bit. I'm gonna bring the gain all the way up to 100 and the saturation. Then I'm gonna drag down this threshold here until I can kind of see some lighter bokeh rings there. You can see that there happening. And for the roundness, I may set this on actually 50%. So now we're getting some nice bokeh on our text. But let's go ahead and keyframe this bokeh. So it starts out blurry and then when it gets to the end three second mark, it's perfectly sharp back to our normal footage. So at the very beginning here, I'm gonna keyframe the blur radius. And let's move down here to, let's actually take this a little bit before the three second mark. And we're gonna set this down to zero. And let's hit U on the keyboard here to show those keyframes. And on this last keyframe, I'm gonna hit F9 again. That'll make that an easy ease keyframe. And let's go into the graph editor as well and just kind of smooth this out a little bit more. We want this to be nice and smooth when that bokeh ends there from that rack focus. And now we can go ahead and preview what this effect looks like. And there's a lot of creative things you can do with this. Let's look at this other composition I have. It's very similar. So what I've got here is the background is blurred here on our drone text. Let's come here to the project file and I've got this texture. I'm just gonna bring this in and place it above my footage. And you can see here, if we go ahead and set this on a screen blending mode, we get kind of a glassy effect because we have that blurred background happening. And I can actually adjust the opacity of this. So if I just hit T on that texture, I can bring this down a little bit. So we get kind of almost like a glass-like texture with this. So you can see this is just another variation you can do with this effect. And here's another example on the drone text that I've got where I've got different drone footage for each of the letters. And this is really simple to do as well. You can see if we go ahead and solo this, I've got the same text mat happening here. But what I've got going on behind it, if I go ahead and disable this, you can see I've got different drone clips here and I've just created a rough mask kind of around where each of those letters would be. And that way when this overlays on top of it, you can see it just cuts it out perfectly for that drone text. All right guys, so let's create another matte text animation and this is gonna create kind of that offsetting effect where the text kind of comes in and reveals itself. It's one of my favorite types to create. Requires a little bit more to set up. We're gonna head and walk through everything here. So I've got some text here already in my composition and let's create a new solid. We'll just call this BG, make sure it's black here, make comp size, click okay. Again, we're gonna use this for our mat. So I'm gonna move that below and under the track mat here, I'm gonna set this to be alpha inverted mat. And again, if we toggle on the transparency, we can see that text there. So I'm gonna turn the transparency back off. And what I actually wanna do here is we're gonna create another copy of our text. So I'm gonna Control D or Command D on a Mac. And we're gonna create a copy of our text. I'm actually gonna move it below everything here. And with that selected, we're actually gonna pre-compose it. Let's come here to Layer and then Pre-Compose. And we wanna move all the attributes into a new composition. And we'll just call this our text. And go ahead and click OK. And let's double click and jump into that composition. So now we're inside with our text. And I actually wanna keyframe an animation of this kind of sliding down. So we'll start here at about the three second mark here. I'm gonna hit P for position. Go ahead and do a keyframe there. Let's move this back up at the very beginning. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna click this and hold shift just to drag this up. And you can drag it all the way off if you want to. I think right here should be fine because it won't be revealing itself anymore. And if we come over here back to the three second mark, I'm gonna hit F9, make an easy ease out of that. Let's go ahead and open up the graph editor and smooth this out a little bit more. And now let's jump back over to our original composition. And we can see what's happening here. So if we drag this back over, we can see we have basically our cookie cut out here, our mat of our original text. And because we have a duplicate copy of that text kind of sliding down, you can see it's gonna kind of come through here and it's gonna perfectly line up at the end with the original text. So it's a nice way to create kind of a reveal animation with your text. We can take this even further. Let's jump back over here to our text comp again. 
And I'm gonna bring in this pattern. Let's put that below our text. And on this, we're actually gonna set this to be a mat as well. So I'm gonna set this to be alpha mat. So now that's actually on this new text. And you can see how this kind of comes across here. And that's kind of a cool effect in and of itself right there, the way it's kind of moving across the background. But let's jump back over to our main composition. And now we're gonna see, we kind of get this pattern with the text as that gets revealed. So it's kind of a nice, cool effect. And one of the things I like to do with this is actually apply a glow on top of this. So the, the glow kind of reveals itself and looks pretty nice when the text comes down. So I'm gonna right click here, let's do a new adjustment layer. Let's place this above everything in the composition. Let's come up here to effect, come down here to stylize, and we're gonna select glow. And this will take a little bit of adjusting to look right. So on this top glow threshold, I'm gonna set this to be 80%. And for the radius, I'm gonna set this to be 25. And then for the glow intensity, I'm gonna set this to be 1.5. And the glow is typically gonna look better if you do multiple copies of it. So I'm gonna select this glow and I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. And on the second copy, I'm gonna to need to adjust some of this a little too bright right now. So for the glow threshold, I'm gonna set this on 85. And then for the radius, I'm really gonna crank this up to be like 220. And then for the intensity, it's a little too intense. So I'll set this back down to one. So we get a little bit of a nicer fall off here, but if we go ahead and drag through the timeline, we kind of see how this gets revealed. So it's kind of glowing on those parts as they come down. And again, I really like the offset reveal this does because when it's coming in, you really can't tell what it says until it finishes. And you can also have different words come in from different sides. So there's quite a few different possibilities you can do with this. All right, guys, so now let's take a look at a parallax effect we can create with our matte text. And this is a really cool, unique effect. It's a little bit more involved, but the results are really cool. So you can see, if we go ahead and solo this, we've got our typical background and text matte here happening. But what I've done in this case, I've actually made them 3D layers. And you can see all these other layers I have behind it are also 3D. So let me unsolo this. Let's go to a custom camera view here. And if I go ahead and rotate around this, let me go ahead and turn off transparency too as well. So you can see I've got different layers here, basically placed at different depths. So you can see all these are at different depths behind basically our main cutout. So if we look at this from the front, we can kind of see our main cutout here with our background. And we have all these kind of further off in space. So if we come back to our active camera. If I zoom in here and we rotate the camera around, you can see we have this nice kind of 3D parallaxing effect with everything we can see through the text. So it's kind of giving us this nice like depth effect illusion and this looks really neat. Now, one thing with your background, depending on the angle, you may be able to see stuff behind it. So you may wanna select your background here and just hit scale and scale this up so you don't see behind it as easily. And depending on how extreme you kind of rotate from one side to the other will depend on how big you wanna create those background layers you can see behind it, but you can do some pretty neat effects with this. And in this instance, the text kind of works like a window for us to just see through and see those objects that are further off in space behind it. All right, guys, I wanna show you guys two other things really quickly, just kind of show you the possibilities that you can do with text mats. So in this case, I've got some text here that I'm using as my mat, and I've got this liquid background, but you can notice the actual text itself is kind of moving and doing this liquid effect. And this is really simple to do as well, because you can actually apply effects directly to your text that you're using for the mats. If I go ahead and turn this on and solo it, you can see I've got this text here, and all I've done in this case is apply a turbulent displace effect to this, just to give it a little bit of movement. And I'm using this as the actual mat. And that's what gives us this reveal. So we kind of have a dual animation happening with this. You can see the background here is just gonna be this liquid layer. So I'm gonna set this back to an alpha mat for this one, just because it's the only thing on the text. And now we can kind of see how we get this dual animation happening. And then on this composition here, I've got this outlines. And all I'm doing with this is just, I'm using the outline function of the text. So I come in here and actually turn this on and solo it. You can see I just have this text and I'm just using the outlines as the mat. And that's what's giving us this nice animation here. So you can see there's a lot of different look combinations you can create with this effect. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you download that free project file and I'll see you guys on the next one.